What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showcasing another five apps for your Fire Sticks or Fire TVs. I did a video just like this not too long ago. This is gonna be kind of like a part two to that. If you missed the first part, I'll link it in the description. Maybe you could watch it after this one. Enough said, let's just start the video guys. I hope you enjoy. To start things off at number one, we have a pretty cool app called EarthCam TV. All you gotta do to get this app is gonna be go to your search in the top left and start typing out EarthCam. And we're gonna be clicking the one that says EarthCam TV 2. And these guys were nice enough to sponsor today's video. So their app is really interesting. It's a collection of all sorts of different live streams going on right now. And through this app, you can tune into them and see what's going on. They have stuff like monuments and cities and animal cameras, things like that. So I'm gonna give this a download and we're gonna check it out. So here we go, EarthCam TV 2. It says it's the world's first 24 hour live webcam network. This is what it looks like as soon as you launch the app. Right away, it starts playing a live stream. And right now we're in Dublin, Ireland. It's currently 10, 15 p.m. there and 54 degrees. You can see in the bottom left, it shows you some info of what you're watching. So right off the bat, if you guys try this app, it's gonna have music playing, but I have my Fire Stick muted for the purposes of this video. But the cool thing is, is it lets you pick between music and the audio of the live stream itself. Before I get into the webcams, I just wanna show you that real quick so if you click the three horizontal line button on your remote control that's going to bring up the settings menu you go over to audio settings and this is where you're going to be able to decide whether you want the camera audio or music for me personally i like to turn off the music and i just like to hear the live stream itself so after that i just hit the back arrow a couple times and i'm back at the live stream so at the top of the screen you have this quick preview of a couple of trending cameras uh, like i said this is dublin ireland the next one over we have times square new york all i have to do is click on it and it brings it right up and you can see the information on the bottom left changes to times square street cam new york city new york so everything you see happening right now is live so if i was to be in new york city I could go to this spot stand in front of this camera and I would be on this app on the live stream so while you're watching a live stream you can press the left button on your remote control and that'll bring up the catalog of all the different live streams happening right now so as you can see there's a trending and featured tab which has an assortment of popular webcams but also you go down and there's categories there's one here called animals, and this is gonna give you some live streams of different animals, whether it be zoos or natural habitats, stuff like that. And I feel like watching this meerkat stream. So I'm just gonna click on that, and I'm just gonna click watch live stream. And here you can see the meerkats just living their life. So if you decide you really like a certain webcam, you can click on it again, and you'll see here there's a button called watch list. If you click that, It'll add it to your watch list. And when I go back and I go to the left again, where the catalog is, there's a section called my watch list. So if you scroll down right here, you also will see that there is YouTube integration. So things that are live streaming on YouTube can also be found on here. So yeah, super interesting app. If you wanna kill time and just explore the world from your couch, go ahead and download EarthCam TV 2. And before we leave, I want to show you guys, if you press the options button again, it'll bring up this menu. And for you guys, you're going to have an option here to get the all access pass. So if you really decide that you love this app, you can go ahead and subscribe to them. It's only $5 a year and you don't have to create any type of accounts. You can just get it through your Amazon account very easy i already did it so that subscription just allows you to have unlimited access to all the webcams no restrictions no ads that sort of stuff so yeah go ahead and show some love to earthcam tv2 download the app for free and if you like it a lot try their premium pass for five dollars so this is the next app on our list. It's called Never Think. What it does is collect all sorts of videos from YouTube for free and it sorts them into categories and it just auto plays things for you. And it's actually really entertaining to have. So let's give it a download. All right, so this is what it looks like as soon as you launch the app, it immediately starts playing stuff. It starts out muted, but when you press any button, it unmutes. But if you press the down button, you can see there's a bunch of different categories here. So this first one is just a generic one called the 
internet where it's just going to show you a bunch of different stuff, kind of random. So you can go through here. There's one called LOL, which is I'm sure going to be funny videos. There's one called learn something. And as you go through here, you could see all the different types of categories. So as soon as you select a category, it just starts playing videos. And when the video ends, it immediately goes to the next video. So I like to think of this app as like an America's Funniest Home Videos type thing without the annoying commentary. You just have back to back videos. They're all pretty funny or depending on which category you use, they might actually be informational as well. So if you click learn something, you'll have videos teaching you things. So yeah, super cool app, totally free to use. And I just learned about this app about a week ago. And since then, I've actually really enjoyed it. I recommend downloading it. Next up, we have this app called Movies Anywhere. This app is really interesting because it allows you to link all sorts of different accounts where you purchase movies from, uh, such as Vudu or Amazon or iTunes even. And it allows you to store them all in one app. And also the thing that caught my eye the most was this feature here that allows you to watch your movies with up to nine other people. So as you can see for the example, they're about to watch the movie called Wonder Woman and they get this code that they can then share with their friends. Their friends can use this app, type in the code, and they could all watch stuff together. And through this next screenshot, you could see that as you're watching it, these people can react with the different emojis. And it's just really cool if you have friends and family that wanna watch movies with you that aren't in the same household as you. These are the different movie providers that you can link up with. So they have Apple TV, Prime Video, Vudu, Google Play, DirecTV, Verizon, Xfinity, Microsoft. So there's two main benefits of this app. Number one is just getting all your movies in one place. And number two, being able to watch with family and friends. So if you think you'd like that sort of thing, go ahead and give this app a try. It's called Movies Anywhere, once again. All right, here we are at our fourth app on this list. This is a really interesting, unique app that I like a lot. It's called Sleep Jar. It's a sleep sound ambient noise machine type thing. And it's really cool. So I want to show you guys what it's like. All right. So this app is super useful for anybody who has a TV in their bedroom, because one of the main uses for this is to be able to play some white noise to help you fall asleep. I guess if you don't have it in your bedroom, and you just want to use it for general relaxation, it can also be used for that as well. So as you can see, as soon as you launch the app, you have a huge list of all sorts of different sounds. And they can get very specific, like the sound of a vacuum cleaner, the sound of a whale, shower, hair dryer, clothes dryer, dishwasher, waterfall. So all you got to do, if you like any of these sounds, you just go ahead and click on it. It'll start playing right away. And on the bottom right, you'll see a button called sleep mode. So if you go over to that, the purpose of that is to be able to click it and it'll black out your screen like this. That way, when you're using it to fall asleep at night, you don't have a bright screen keeping you awake. So it'll black out the screen but continue to play the sounds. So this is just a very simplistic app and it's totally free to use. So if you think you would like this, go ahead and give it a shot. All right, guys, for the fifth and final app that I want to show you today is this app called Analogy, I believe that's how you would pronounce it. Um, this is less of a fun app and more of a useful one. So as you can see, as soon as I launch the app, it starts to immediately test the download speed of my Fire Stick. It also gives me some information on whether my internet speed is good enough to do certain things. So you can see video streaming of 720p high definition, I'm good to go, but you can go down the list. My internet apparently is even good enough to stream 8K video and I didn't know that. So one use of this app is to test your download and upload speed of your Fire Stick to make sure you're getting a good connection. If you go down one, there's something called detailed test. Through there, you can get a lot more information on your Wi-Fi signal. This is gonna be for people that are really tech savvy and they know what all that stuff means. But another purpose for this app is this section here that says VPN check. If you click that, it'll bring up a page and it'll tell you a bunch of information here. So if this information is showing your IP address and your internet service provider, that means that your VPN is off. But when you turn a VPN on, you can use this to make sure that the VPN is working. This is just a useful tool that I recommend for your Fire Stick if you think you could use any of these features. All right, guys, those were the five apps I wanted to show you today. If you missed the first part of this video, where I showed five other apps. You can go check that 
out now. It's in the description. But yeah, thanks again to Earthcam TV 2 for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go give them some love. Try their app for free. And if you like it, go get their premium version. They're nice people and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the app. I thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.